What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Geeks and Company and another episode of the After Show. This week for Secret Invasion. Why do you keep telling it was shit a secret? Four? I believe it's episode four. I believe so. We're uh, two thirds of the way through. Two thirds of the way through. First of all, yeah. Mike Padre, Mr. Jeff, as you can see, aka Messiah Complex Cosplay. How you doing, bud? I'm wonderful. I just I watched it and then I went for a massage and I just got mm -hmm. back and I bought a tub of ice cream bigger in my head. That I had to put away, so I didn't eat it all. So I'm in a good mood, ready to talk about this week's episode. Excellent, excellent. Did you want to start? I mean, I know last week you wanted me to start and give you my thoughts on Strange New Worlds. Um, I'll give you an opportunity to start here because I'll just say this. This week's episode was a 180-degree shift from what we've seen before. This episode was action-packed. There was a lot of stuff going on. There was some reveals that we called. Some that we were like, eh, is that going to be for real? And it was for real. Uh, but a lot, a lot, a lot has gone down in this fairly short episode. I think it was only like 36 it minutes is, or it, something it, like it, that. It felt like it got to the end in a hurry. 38 it, minutes is what they 38 have minutes, here yeah. on Plus, so. It felt way shorter than the other episodes. So, yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah. What are yeah, your initial we, thoughts? I, we we called it for Gaia. It was the first scene that came up. We mm -hmm. knew that she had taken the extremis, and that's how she was going to live, and that's exactly what happened. Like, we we nailed that on the head, and mm -hmm. we were completely wrong about Rhodey. We thought Rhodey was this giant red herring and probably wasn't a scroll because it was just too painfully obvious, and it turns out it was just too painfully obvious mm -hmm. not to do. Okay, so the whole time we've been talking, you and I have been talking about the show, You've been very succinct that this show is going to be just a ton of misdirections and everything's misleading and nothing is as it seems. And the whole time I've wanted to believe you that that's the way this show was going to be. But there's this little voice in the back of my head that keeps going, this is still the MCU. This is still Marvel. Like, this is still mm -hmm, meant mm -hmm. to be palatable to the sweaty masses. It's still meant to be consumed by the average consumer. Mm -hmm. And the average consumer doesn't want it deep and layered and complex and twisty they want it to kind of follow along the same story beats and a lot of other things and so now there's only two episodes left and almost everything has been just kind of what it seems to be like yeah i'm not gonna lie i uh more and more i think you're right and i'm worried uh, i'm not saying we might not get some bigger twists we might but i'm starting to get a little bit worried there's only two there's episodes gonna left. gonna have to be some sort of a twist at one point otherwise what was the point right right yeah um one thing i did want to point out real quickly because i know we talked earlier our one of our theories for why Rhodey couldn't be a scroll is because this is supposed to somehow lead into or tie into armor wars and mm -hmm. clearly that's going to be Rhodey's show but then i was thinking today like they've in typical marvel fashion they're not killing any of the people they're duplicating they're all just hooked up jacked up low jacked in these machines so there's still a roadie so we can still have roadie roadie Mm -hmm. We're just now we have female scroll scroll roadie, which is an interesting take and twist. But yeah, I, I thought that was a little mm -hmm. odd too. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. They can shape shift into anything they want. So I mean, gender doesn't really matter. It doesn't. Right? So, it doesn't. Um I think by the way, we can safely assume at this point that Dermot Mulroody plays uh United States President Ritson. I think we can rest assured he is not, in fact, a scroll. He's clearly human, or at least he's not a scroll yet. He's not been replaced. Well, it looks like it anyway. Yeah. And uh, our theories on the super scroll uh, also appear to be pretty just, as uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Gravick there uh, produced some uh, very Groot like tree branch things to grab somebody from afar and, pardon me, give him the old squeeze, and then gets shot in the face and just brushes it off like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, he's definitely a super scroll for sure. Uh, I don't know if he only has a limited number of people he can at least put the extremis into because I don't know why he doesn't just he can take over the planet with 50,000 scrolls that can't be killed. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like just be that can turn into anybody and can't be killed. And if I remember correctly, extremis kind of at the end of the day didn't work because it was unstable. Correct. It doesn't appear to be like, is there something do you think in the scroll physiology that makes them more adaptable or acceptable? Um, I, I feel like at the end of Iron Man three, they did finally make a stable version and that's why Pepper didn't die. And that's why Killian didn't die from, right. well, he died, but not from extremists, right? Extremis. Well, that's kind of my point at the end of the day. It's just kind of like, now it's just too easy. If, if, if they can just, 
Like yeah, step into a machine, flick extremists. a switch, and all of a sudden they've then, got the powers of whoever they want. Unkill, you're unkillable, basically, yeah. right? Like, forget yeah. everything else. Like, Gravit got shot in the face. Gravit got shot in the face, mm -hmm. and just was like, and then instantly, like T two kind of thing, just like, and he was yeah. fine. And I was like, oh, okay. Why don't you mm -hmm. all have that? Maybe he's only got a limited supply of it or whatever. In yeah, a show I, that I thought was going to have a shit ton of ex exposition, I feel like there's actually not enough exposition. Like, there's not mm -hmm. enough explaining as to what's happening or why it's happening and again i'm worried because i think they're worried about adding so i feel like I'm, I'm seeing a trend right now in this show where they show us something in the episode mm -hmm. and then they end it on a misdirection and then right. at the beginning of the next episode you get a flashback that explains the the misdirection happened yep. in the previous episode in the misdirection you know gaia gets shot at the beginning of the episode you find out she's not dead Fury so, coming home and putting on the wedding ring and kissing his now human looking scroll wife. Right. And then in the very next episode, the flashback shows. Yeah, exactly what you're talking about. So, no, you're right. It's a it's a pattern. It's a formula that they've adopted. Yeah. For sure. Is that how they're handling the misdirection? And that's it. And that's all of the surprises we get is just from episode to episode. Maybe. Yeah. As much as this was a better episode, I am starting to lean towards the fact that maybe this there is no big secret. Right. Maybe there right. is no big subterfuge that is going to be a big giant M. Night Shyamalan twists. Right. You know what, what I a mean? Twist. Yeah. Because we were comparing the look and feel of it to Winter Soldier, did we go in with too high of an expectation? Maybe. Not on quality, but Winter Soldier literally changed the entire fabric of the MCU forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Destroyed Shield, Hydra the whole time. Everything changed after Winter Soldier. Maybe we kind of felt like something similar would happen here. And with only two episodes left to go, it's hard to imagine some broad sweeping other than some sort of weird geopolitical thing. The consequence from this for me, obviously, is going to be that the Americans are going to, one, know that Skrulls exist among them because the British soldiers saw Talos in his whatever half scroll form. Mm -hmm. And two, I'm still wondering, though, if the Americans are going to think the attack was predicated by the Russians. So if that's what all this is leading to... I, okay and same thing like i know nick fury is still like i got this but if there's like when does everybody else show up to make sure that this doesn't go off a cliff because mm -hmm. it it would seem like a direct when do you call vision and say hey i need a hand right like or when they, do you call they just missiled the president's yeah. car yeah and the rest of the avengers are still going to be like man whatever Fury's got this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They almost just killed aliens. The oh, no, no, he's world. crazy. There's no aliens. Totally which, fine. Which and made I, my, which made Rhodey's speech to me a little weird, right? Like you were just invaded by aliens a couple of years ago. So why would it be so weird that Fury would say, "No, no, this is an alien." What? He's not even good at being Rhodey. Like whoever the scroll is is not even a good Rhodey scroll. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If you knew that scrolls were a thing, you'd have to know. Like now, it makes you wonder. Does Fury know in that first meeting in the bar? I don't think he does. I don't think he knew he no, was a scroll. He knows now. I think, well, he clearly knows now. And I think yeah. he knew after that that meeting, maybe he's like, oh, wait a minute. That's not the roadie that I've known for yeah. the last 10 years or whatever. Who the fuck is that person? Clearly, that's a scroll. We were thrown for another bit of a loop at the end of this episode. Um, Talos was shot and then stabbed. And then turned into a scrawl and left for dead. So again, is he also dead? He was so already like, pretty much. Uh, he was already turning when he was shot, right? Yeah. Uh well, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Same thing. Like, I don't think you're going to kill off Ben Mendels. How, mm -hmm. Yeah. How many fake deaths are you going to have though? Like, if Maria Hill comes back and then Gaia wasn't actually killed, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, how many fake-out deaths are you going to have in this show? Like, we get it. <laughs> no, you're not actually going to kill anybody, all right? Like, I'm... JS, my brother, I love you. But if Kobe Smulders walks back out on the last episode, like, with a limp or with a sling or something, like, ah, I was just faking the whole time or whatever. It was just a big ruse to get me... There's no consequence to this entire show. Not that every show has to have a, these giant consequences, but they built this show up like it was going to have these huge implications and repercussions for the rest of the MCU. And so far, they haven't. So mm -hmm. now, shifting gears a little bit, and I loved how you called him Talos. You're sticking to your Talos thing, and I'll say potato, potato, tomatoes, man. I get it. Well done, sir. Well done. What do you think? So Talos and Gaia are having a you conversation. You mean Talos? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. I, I mean Talos. Talos and Guy are having the conversation on the bench. Mm -hmm. And basically, Talos is apologizing for putting her into that awkward position of being a spy and everything else. And then Guy is like, well, Gavrik at least has a pl Gravik has a plan and he's implementing it and it's working. What's your plan? What did you so Talos' plan in a nutshell basically is just show the humans. We've been showing the humans for 20 years, by the way, how cool we are, but really show the humans how much we're willing to sacrifice on their behalf, and they will then grant us amnesty, they will then grant us asylum here on earth, all million of us. And she looks at him like, Are you out of your cotton picking mind? What are you talking? That's your plan. Your plan is no plan at all. Like your plan is you hope in the kindness. Of the human, it, do we really believe that's talent? Tal you know, you got me. I hate you so much right now. I hate you. Do we really believe that's Talos's plan? That that's just he's just hoping to prove to the humans that the scrolls can be good, so they should be given safe harbor here. Um, I don't know if it is. I think it's a <clears throat> dumbass fucking plan. Oh, Nelly is it? Um, I don't think that Talos actually has a plan. I think his trust in Fury went too far. Oh yeah, he blindly deep. trusted in Fury, and now that nothing is happening, he's got nothing else. He's got no chips left to play. Now he's an old man, and there's a million of his people on Earth, and he doesn't know what to do about it. Fury says that I think in the second episode, we can't live with each other. What makes you think we're going to be able to live with a bunch of you guys, some green-skinned, pointy-eared freaks that can turn into anybody? Like, come never, on, man, ever, ever, right. a million, billion, bajillion years, but. That's the problem, right? They showed in Endgame and they showed in Captain... They showed that there are many more worlds than these. Like, space exists and, and look at Guardians. You can warp through space. You're telling me mm -hmm. all the different habitable planets that the Guardians have visited. There's not one planet where a million squirrel refugees could just go and be and live in peace and everything would be cool. Like, mm -hmm. I don't... I know they're trying to hide from the Kree. I get that. But at the end of the day, it seems so weird. Like you're saying, like, why do they have such a chub on for the Earth? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really get it. Um, the motivation doesn't seem quite there. The plans, neither the good or the bad plans, seem like good plans. This episode made the show take a step backwards. It dumbed everything down. Unfortunately, yeah. it really did. It's yeah. like these are the good guys, and these are the bad guys. Yeah, and we cheer for these guys and not for these guys. And you're just like, yeah. I mean, I didn't need it this dumb, guys. Like, I could have had it a little bit more subtle than this. But yeah, and I, I mean, get it. Like, if the scrolls don't, don't want Earth, there's no show. I'm not stupid. I know how plot works. I'm not dumb. Yes. But at the end of the day, it makes it's better TV and better viewing and better content that the plot makes sense. And it doesn't. And they keep saying this is going to tie into Armor Wars. Well, how? How? To what level? Right? They're saying this is going to impact the next phase of the MCU. Now, I can't. That, I, can, I mean, you could probably tie some ties to Armor Wars. Because at least that's like it. an Earth-based. And How in the balls does this tie into Kang, the multiverse, and the Secret Wars? Like, none of this seems relevant I, I, I on any yeah, level. I don't know. Like... Now, do you think, just to help whatever, do you think in the last two episodes we do get a cameo from fucking anybody at this point? Like, do you think anybody shows up to be like, hey, it seems like things are really going to shit. Maybe you could use somebody to if help out. If we do out. get like, a cameo, I think it's going to be one of the Marvels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No, you're right. It would probably be Carol for sure. She yeah. she did cameo very briefly on Ms. Marvel, so I I could see that. I'll say this. Today was a good episode. It was for me by far the best episode of the season. I am just worried that it made the show take a step back. Like you said it dumbed it down a lot. Uh yeah. it showed us that there really is no plan. No. Uh, it showed us that there really is no subterfuge because everything that they've thrown at us, we had already called. Yeah. I will listen. I have a tub of ice cream, but it could just as easily be crow. And if they end up fucking us, if they do this huge ass swerveru, I am absolutely more than happy to eat that crow pie. If they can listen, off, I'm but... totally cool with that. And yeah. I'm going to watch the last two episodes oh, no, because I sure. am invested now. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're four episodes into a six episode show. I think the biggest swerve would be that there is not six episodes. There's actually seven. 
<laughs> and then the seventh episode is that would be funny. The big thing, yeah. right? That I don't think they can up, do that, that unfortunately. Into, but yeah, I don't know. Be, yeah, but that would be dope. But, that would be very cool. That would be very cool. You know, I don't want to keep speculating when there's only two episodes left anyway. Exactly. So let's see how those last two episodes go. We will. Folks, if you haven't already, please make sure you click that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps us out, and we really appreciate it. Also, if you don't know, we have a podcast that airs right here on YouTube live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's right. We call it the Geek Boutique Podcast. 15 minutes ahead of time, we go live on Instagram for about 15 minutes. We call it the Technical Difficulties Pre-Show. Last week, we had real technical difficulties because with Boy, the launch howdy. of a certain app, it totally crashed Instagram, and we couldn't get online. But check us out. But I think uh, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you guys stay geeky. We'll see you in the next episode.